Hi everybody and thanks for tuning in to a little video from Claudia at We're Just Two Sisters. This is um, a little brown bag journal that I'm sure you may have seen uh, this style before if you've checked out any of the other videos on our YouTube channel. It is constructed using just a little brown lunch bag and it's just amazing to me how a little brown lunch bag can turn into such a wonderful creation. These are one of my favorite types of journals to make. And even though they are time consuming and there's a lot of steps to them, the outcome is always just super rewarding. So this one I call In the Quiet of the Forest. And I live in the forest um, way up in the San Bernardino Mountains. And in fact, we have snow today in February. Um, but I can certainly relate to some of the uh, elements and the aspects that I've included in this little journal as having that serenity and that quiet and that peacefulness of being in the forest and certainly imagining all the little animals and the wildlife that we cohabitate this mountain with. So let's take a look inside. So the cover of this one is this beautiful illustration of this little forest bunny and it's just so pretty. It's sewn around the edges. I've embellished it with some little piece of burlap and a little brad that I made, on a little homemade button, if you will, or tab. On the side is a couple of things. There's this really cool vintage lace that wraps all the way around. And I have also attached this really cool applique that I just thought set off the pink flowers that are in the illustration itself. I've put a corner here and I've put a um, corner here. This uh, back side is very similar, this lovely illustration of the little forest bunny. It's stitched all the way around, both on the journal itself and on the illustrations. And as you can see, that lace wraps all the way around. I've also attached a little bulb clip to the lace in the front and included this lovely whimsical yarn, as well as a couple of little charms. You'll probably notice, hard not to notice, this butterfly. It actually comes out. It's on a little wire, so you can use it anywhere you like, or you may choose not to use it at all. And that's perfectly fine, too. So when you open this little journal up on the inside cover, there's a side pocket. The side pocket has this lovely rusted heart. It has several little um, tags and cards. It has this tag with the dough. And on the back of that, there is also a little dough, a little different illustration, but similar goes down in this pocket. Before I put that in that pocket, let me show you that the top of this is also a pocket. And in that is this really pretty floral bookmark that can be used anywhere in the journal. This card slips down in that pocket. I've used a lot of gold, just little elements in this one, as you can see, that just kind of create a little shimmer and a little shine that I just really enjoyed in this one. Mostly it's neutrals, greens, and browns, and the colors of the forest. In this pocket, there are several little things. There's this little piece of stationery with the dragonfly. It slips down in here, and you can, you can kind of maneuver it around to a place where you can still see maybe the doe's eye or whatever you'd like um, to see, or you can cover it up completely. Also included a couple of little tags. Here's a tag that is a ticket, bus ticket. And here's a little saying, when you consider things like the stars, our affairs don't seem to matter very much, do they? And certainly when you're in the forest or in the mountains or out in nature, you can 
really appreciate the stars. I know up here we we uh, are in awe of them all the time. So here's a fun little circle pocket that I made to put on the front of the actual writing journal itself. In that, there's a couple of things. There's this little our road trip where we went. It slides right down in here. And then there's this adorable little folio with the bear with a pocket. The pocket has several little things in it. Pause your thoughts and learn to listen to what you feel. So often we're not as blind as we are numb. Night whispers all the secrets day keeps from me. And this little um, card with the really pretty butterfly wings. And this also has a little tablet. And this guy just goes right down into this pocket. This pocket is fairly fat, almost like a flap, so you can put quite a few things in it. I just love that little squirrel. Inside cover of the writing journal itself has this beautiful pocket. In the pocket, I've included this really pretty little piece of stationery. Just says explore. No better place to explore than the forest. The writing journal itself is sewn in. Here's the center signature. And there's quite a bit of purposefully left blank pages for you to write in. This is definitely a little writing journal. And the center signature, I've included this little altered paper clip. It can clip onto one page or it can clip onto a bunch. In that little altered paper clip, with a little paper clip on the side here, there's also this tiny little tablet. And there's a beautiful little mushroom there. Little tablet, as you can see, goes into that pocket. And this little guy here is nice because it will actually hold that little tablet in to the altered paper clip so it doesn't ever fall out. Cute little paper clip with the little heart on it. The second half of the writing journal, the back cover of the journal, has this really fun pocket. Let me show you. So it, I, per, I made it scalloped here or kind of tiered. I thought it kind of gave a dimension here that looked like grass and mountainish. Um, on the back of the, this uh, pocket, I've placed this really cool card with the bear. It says, enjoy life with, again, lots of journaling space. There's several little cards in here, the insect, a little tag. And then in these staggered pockets, I've placed a little receipt from a farm store, a thank you, and then these two little tags here. There were three. Oh, there were three. I thought there were. The third one is just a little floral tag and again you can see that I've put just a little bit of gold leafing on these things not a I'm not a lot just enough to kind of make them shimmer a little bit and I just thought that looked super cool so on the back cover of the writing journal itself there's this beautiful pocket with the deer sewn um, all the way around in that pocket I have attached this little folio it has a pocket on the front. It has two little things. I like this place and could willingly waste my time in it. And a little card with the more of those little butterfly wings. When you open it up, it has just some writing space on this little folio. On the back um, is the remainder of the wraparound. And then I've also included this little card that's just really more like a little receipt. And this slips down into this pocket. You can put it all the way in if you like, but I kind of liked it overlapping like that. That way when you open it up, you can see that beautiful deer. Um, and if you were to write on here, it would look really pretty as well. And then after you've explored the actual writing journal itself, then you open it up another time. This is the back. 
and I've left this um, blank on purpose because I just thought it was just so beautiful that I didn't want to cover him up with anything. You could actually add another pocket here, a corner pocket or a little half circle pocket here. It does not, um, it, it is not a pocket, but I just really loved the back of that. On this side, there actually is a pullout with this adorable little bunny. And this guy pulls out and it is yet another bunny. And then when you turn it over, it's the wraparound on the little folio. This piece of lace here creates the tab that allows you to easily pull it out of its pocket. Inside, there's a pocket with this little card with the bird. Again, journaling space on the back. And a tablet. This guy easily slides down into this side pocket. And then when you turn it, play, um, turn the page again, there's this adorable illustration of the little fox. I believe that's a fox, yes. With some really cool um, kind of trim there that is a vine. And then when you close it, here is the back. Again, this is a brown bag journal. So as with all of the brown bag journals, they measure four by six. So there's six inches this way and four inches this way. And it makes a wonderful little journal that you could tuck into your purse or your backpack or, you know, keep in your car, just um, very convenient, small enough to put go anywhere. Makes a wonderful gift. It would be perfect for like an Easter gift or Mother's Day, even Valentine's Day. You know, it, uh, although it's snowing at my house today, I know that spring is coming and I've started to prepare a little bit for that. I don't think this one really has a holiday because it could really be used for any holiday. Um, it could be the hope of spring. It could be, as I said, it could be Valentine's Day. But that is In the Quiet of the Forest. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. And this one will be posted on Etsy later this afternoon. So if you'd like to purchase this one, um, get it while you can. Um, that's www.we'rejusttwosisters.etsy.com. That's We're Just Two Sisters with the number two etsy.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and please come back soon. There's always something new.